When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Ah! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Happy Aftermath. Back with another video. As you see from the title, you already know what the deal is, bro. And, um... Sorry, I was yawning. I'm not, I'm not tearing up because I'm emotional. Or maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm just using an excuse. But I feel the greatest, like, I feel the greatest, feel the greatest right now that I've, I've, I've felt in a long time since, like, probably since around the time when I was training for the NFL. And, you know, but with that feeling, I don't look the best. I feel the best, I don't look the best. And I think that's one thing that has really hurt my brand, um, hurt, you know, as far as content and and things because, you know, now, let's be honest, everybody and their mama is, is on some shit. You feel me? Everybody and their mama is on something. And it's like, now we got these kids, teenagers, we got teens, early 20s, just strong and ripped and just like, you know, it's 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 a different culture. The fitness culture is very different back from when you know me and Goku Flex started doing our YouTube videos and things. You know, back in the Chris Jones era and and things, uh, physiques of greatness. And it's I've been having a mental battle with trying to keep up with just keep up with you know the gains, keeping up with. I've been healthy. You know, I've been still able to lift heavy. You know, I've been able to at least lift 500 within the past six six years that I've been lifting it. And, you know, the lifts have gotten a lot cleaner and better. Um, but as time has went on, it's just like, damn, I'm still at five around 500. You know, like, damn, what's wrong? Why you haven't hit 600 yet? Well, if I was dot, 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 I would be hitting 600 right now. But I'm not, not, not. So it's like... It's hard for me to just keep up with you know everybody else and then on top of that i'm not on a you know specific powerlifting program um and i've talked about you know should i jump into powerlifting and bodybuilding because i know russ does that uh but russ's physique is a lot more compact and stuff so i feel like his build um stays a lot tighter than mine um, and for me it's like you know like we got I, got, I got some heavy hitters I got to go against, you know, in my weight class of 242, you know, we got SSJ Bob, who's benching 500 already, test, I mean, in, in competition, benching 500, you know, squatting seven plus, deadlifting eight, like, you know, I, I got a lot of work to do, and um, I just feel so, I just feel so behind, you know, because like, it's just football just got in my, it just really got in my way for a long time, and really kept me from putting my all in back into the fitness industry like i kind of used to be um and i've even had thoughts of jumping back into wrestling uh, booker t has a school out here 40 minutes away that i've had interest in um because it's like i want to do fitness still i still want to be involved in fitness but i just like i just want so much more you know what i'm saying like and I just think like wrestling's fun, it's risky, but you know, I just think it's something that really fits my personality um, and you know, charisma and stuff. And I, I, th I think it would be a good move on my end to do that, but I know that lifestyle and those wrestlers and stuff, it comes with a lot of sacrifice. Um, and you know, I got family, I got Keisha, so you know, I don't know how that would be. And, you know, I'm the type of person that, you know, if I'm gonna do it and I wanna do it, I wanna do it regardless. Um, even knowing, you know, what type of sacrifices it come with, but it's just like, I'm older now, I'm 30, um, but I'm 30 and I'm like, I feel like I'm in my prime right now. So it's, there, there's a lot of factors that I just am trying to put together and come up with just like, what's, what's the best decision right now? I honestly, I've been getting so many comments right lately about like Teron, bro, just go unnatural and like you know become a freaking even more of a beast and you know it's just really been on my mind a lot bro because it's just like these last few years is like my content and everything has just kind of died down because i've just been stagnant for years you know deadlifts has been the same bench has been the same squat i don't even know if y'all even knew or know what my max squat ever was um everything's just been the same you know i've gotten i've, I've gained more weight 
Uh, my strength hasn't really increased much uh, with that weight gain. And I'm 20 pounds or 15 pounds over what I really want to be. And so my physique, even though a lot of people would love to have my physique, is my physique is not where I want it to be. I'm too heavy. Um, I don't want to be in the 240s. I want to be in the 230s, maybe even the 220s. I want to be like, you know, more lean and hard body look with the strength that I have. That's what I want to be. People think that I'm trying to get bigger. Like people will say, like, how did you get this size naturally? Like, bro, I don't want to be this size and I never wanted to be this size. I just ended up this size. And even with all the conditioning work that I do, the cardio, the, the lifting twice a day, um, you know, most weeks and and, um, you know, it's just my eating. Of course, that's that's the problem. But still, like, you know, I'm 240. I'm, I'm a solid 240, but you can still tell, like, if I let my stomach out, like, um, I'm kind of, I'm endly out of shape. I got like a gel body swole type of physique going on right now um, that I want to dial down. But I know once I dial down, my strength and stuff is going to fall down with it. So there's a lot of just back and forth with like, yo, Teron, like, what do you want to do, my boy? What are you trying to do? And I'm, I'm mentally struggling, bro. I'm not going to sit here and act like, bro, bro, don't think about hopping on because bro do. You feel me? Especially now, you know, since I'm, I'm done with football. So I really don't have anything holding me back unless I try to compete in uh, tested um, powerlifting or, you know, CrossFit or something that requires testing. Um, that's the only thing that would keep me from going that route. But if I don't decide to do that, then, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's free game. You feel me? Um, and I, I don't have any problem saying, saying, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm you know, huh. I don't have any problem saying that, you know, Natty Tehran is over. You feel me? Um, I never did, which is, you know, something that I think a lot of you guys don't understand. Um, but, you know, the main reason why I stayed how I am is because, of course, sports. And the last thing I need is to hop on a team, get tested. And, you know, Teron Beckham's cut from the team because of drug use and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's the last thing I needed. That would blow up everywhere, which is weirdly, which is strange because a lot of people get called out. Like, a lot of people in the fitness industry get called out. Um, they, they claim Natty and then a lot of stuff of them saying this is what they ordered and got. And then, like, their fan base blows up after that. Or, it's like, it's weird. Like, it's weird, bro. I don't understand. Like, like what? Like what? Like, Liver King blew up. Probably blew up more uh, due to his. You know, I mean, of course he wasn't in the first place. If he thought he was, then I. It's just like it's weird. If you really thought he was. Uh, but it's just like he probably blew up even more because now everybody is sharing his content. He's everywhere now, and now he has probably more fans. But that's not the case with me. And now it's just like. How now, honestly, to be honest, this is about career. This is about making bread. This is about, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and content creator, this is about how can you uplift, you know, your content. And, you know, for me, the, I'm, 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 I'm known for my physique and my strength. So what would increase that? You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just like my, honestly, that is like, me at my like lowest point and I'm trying to rise again. Um, you know, take advantage of my prime. I'm trying to take advantage of my prime as long as possible right now because that's what I feel like I'm in right now as far as just how I feel. Um, but how I am outside of, you know, my physical feel, you know, in life is like at the lowest. So I'm trying to come back up. I'm trying to get on the come up, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if it comes down to doing whatever it takes to get back to where I need to be, then so be it. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm trying to dial down on what I will be doing uh, com competition wise. And if there is nothing that I'll be doing and I'm just going to be lifting weights and just looking cool on Instagram and YouTube and whatever, then, you know, then then that's that. But uh, but yeah, just giving you guys the update, life update. Uh, hope you enjoyed my talking uh, for the moment. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments, man, because like I, I really want I really want you guys to you know let me know because i know that i've been a a light for a lot of people to stay natural and i've and i will still continue to be because regardless that's like that that's going to what i'm going to promote always regardless of whatever mistakes that I've, i'm i'm taking and, and making um that's just what i'm going to preach because especially for the youth you know 
I feel like, you know, for me being 30, I got a three before anything. I feel like this would be like the right time to do it, but not in the 20s because you're not even utilizing your own testosterone and what you can do um, in your 20s if you're just constantly tanking it already. So um, that being said, stay safe, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe once again. Catch you guys later.